So Elon Musk released a statement this morning because he personally wanted to address all the advertisers and members of Twitter. And that statement reads, I wanted to reach out personally to share my motivation in acquiring Twitter. There has been much speculation about why I bought Twitter and what I think about advertising. Most of it has been wrong. The reason I acquired Twitter is because it is important to the future of civilization to have a common digital town square where a wide range of beliefs can be debated in a healthy manner without resorting to violence. There is currently great danger that social media will splinter into far right wing and far left wing echo chambers that generate more hate and divide our society. In the relentless pursuits of clicks, much of traditional media has fueled and catered to those polarized extremes, as they believe that is what brings in the money. But in doing so, the opportunity for dialogue is lost. That is why I bought Twitter. I didn't do it because it would be easy. I didn't do it to make more money. I did it to try to help humanity whom I love. And I do so with humility. Recognizing that failure in pursuing this goal, despite our best efforts, is a very real possibility. That said, Twitter obviously cannot become a free-for-all hellscape where anything can be said with no consequences. In addition to adhering to the laws of the land, our platform must be warm and welcoming to all, where you can choose your desired experience according to your preferences. Just as you can choose, for example, to see movies or play video games ranging from all ages to mature. I also very much believe that advertising, when done right, can delight, entertain, and inform you. It can show you a service or product or medical treatment that you never knew existed, but is right for you. For this to be true, it is essential to show Twitter users advertising that is as relevant as possible to their needs. Low relevancy ads are spam, but highly relevant ads are actual content. Fundamentally, Twitter aspires to be the most respected advertising platform in the world that strengthens your brand and grows your enterprise. To everyone who has partnered with us, I thank you. Let us build something extraordinary together. Now, I, for one, am absolutely ecstatic that he is taking over Twitter. And yes, this acquisition is going to be finalized by tomorrow. Now, also keep in mind that this will no longer be a publicly traded company. I know a lot of you keep buying up Twitter as if it's going somewhere. It is not going anywhere. It is going to be removed from the market. It will be a private company after tomorrow. So with all that said, if you're looking for a way to invest into Twitter, I would suggest Dogecoin. Now also keep in mind, I've been telling everybody in the Discord over at patreon.com slash sleepbiker that the buy-in for Dogecoin that I recommended was around four cents. It has since almost doubled since I had made that statement, giving everybody a 100% return at this point. And yes, in future, I believe that it will continue to go up. But if you want to know all my price predictions on Dogecoin, Tesla, and other stocks and cryptos, be sure to join the Discord at patreon.com slash sleepbiker. Now, again, with all that said, I have not been very very active on Twitter since all of this insanity over the last few years where everybody wants to attack you for simply asking a question and if they don't agree with it, if it somehow goes against the status quo, they call you a racist, a Nazi. However, with Elon now taking over the platform, I will be going back to Twitter. If you want to follow me, you can do so over at twitter.com slash daily investor X. And I hope to see everybody else who left that platform to return to it as well. And I want to know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. Are you excited that Elon Musk will be taking over Twitter? And will you be returning to Twitter if you are one of the people that have previously left?